Is a mirror more accurate than a photograph? Hello, reality seekers. Today we are going to delve into an intriguing question that may seem simple at first glance. Is a mirror more accurate than a photograph? The truth might surprise you. Let's dive in. How does a mirror work? A mirror works by reflecting light that falls onto it. A typical mirror reflects light in a way that maintains much of its original quality. In other words, when you look at an object in a mirror, you are seeing a real-time reflection of that object. Mirrors are considered accurate because they produce a direct visual representation of an object without the interference of lenses, sensors, or film. How does a photograph work? Now, let's discuss photographs. A photograph is made by capturing light through a camera's lens onto a sensor, in digital cameras, or film, in traditional cameras. The lens focuses light onto the sensor or film, where it is recorded. Unlike mirrors, photographs are influenced by camera settings like exposure, focus, white balance, and more. This means photographs can distort the colors, proportions, and details of the scene, making them less accurate, in some ways. What does accuracy really mean? Here's where it gets tricky. Accuracy can mean different things in different contexts. If we're talking about an exact, real-time representation of a scene, a mirror is more accurate. But what about historical accuracy? A photograph can capture a moment in time and preserve it exactly as it was when the shutter clicked, something a mirror can't do. In this sense, a photograph is more accurate. Furthermore, a photograph can capture things the human eye might miss. For example, a high-speed camera can capture a hummingbird's wings in motion, something our eyes and a mirror can't effectively do. From this perspective, a photograph can be seen as more accurate in capturing specific moments or details. So, is a mirror more accurate than a photograph? The answer depends on how you define accuracy. In terms of real-time, detailed reflection, a mirror takes the lead. But if you're interested in preserving a moment in time or capturing details the human eye might miss, a photograph can be considered more accurate. Both have their strengths and weaknesses, and both are amazing tools for representing our world. I hope this video shed some light on this intriguing topic. Stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of perception. Until next time!